Welcome back to another GCSE past paper. So I'm doing uh, past papers of 2018. I just chose some questions that I, uh, I want to do. Uh, I think these ones are the long ones. Just a quick reminder when you're doing your paper, make sure that you write all your working out even though you just used a calculator at, for example, 7 times 8, and then you just write the answer on the paper, but please write 7 times 8 just to make sure that you show your working out and maybe even if it's wrong, you might get some mark out of it. Okay, let's start. So Raya buys a van, 8,500 plus a VAT. And then Raya pays a deposit for the van. She then pays the rest of the cost in 12 equal payments. Find the ratio. So what we're looking for is the ratio of the deposit to the total equal payments. So we can actually get the uh, equal payments by doing... 531.25 times 12. This would be the total uh, installment or the equal payments. And I got 6,375. This will be the total equal payments. So we have to subtract this from the total amount that she paid or he paid in order for us to find the deposit. And what is the total amount that uh, Raya paid? So he paid for, I don't know if it's a girl or a um, male, it is Raya. 8,500 times 20% if you want to find the increase, or sorry, the VAT, and the VAT would be 1,700. It means uh, Raya will pay 8,500, plus an additional of 7,500. Which would amount to 10,200. This would be the total payments. And then, from these total payments, we just have to minus the amount of the uh, equal payments for the 12 months in order for us to get our uh, deposit. So minus, and I've got 3,825. So it means Raya deposited, deposited this amount. And now we're going to have to find the ratio of the deposit to the 12 equal payments. So our deposit is 3,825 is to 6,375. You could divide them one by one by five or by any number that you think until you get the lowest term or I will just use calculator divided by and I got 3 over 5 means 3 is to 5 so that would be our answer and just write it next last question so Jackson is trying to find the density in grams centimeter cube of a block of wood and the block of wood is in the shape of cuboid. So uh, you can draw it here. So it, it looks like that. Not ag as ugly as this. And then we have this information. And then he measures the mass, which is 1970, correct to, uh, to nearest 5 grams. And then by considering the bounds, work out the density of the wood, giving your answer to the suitable degree of accuracy when they say degree of suitable accuracy guys all you have to do is to both do the upper bound and lower bound and how are we going to find the upper bound and lower bound of our density so density is equivalent to mass over the volume or if you're using the triangle the density is equal to mass over the volume and what we need to do in here is the density and the formula would be mass over the volume we already have the mass in here and we already have the volume so all we have to do is to find the upper bound of the density and lower bound so when you see upper bound when you see upper bound of our density we have to do mass over the volume which since you need the highest possible value the top part must be upper bound while the lower part would be the lower bound and then if you want the uh, lower bound the mass would be the lower bound and the volume over here must be the upper bound in order for us to get the smallest possible density that we could have. So, the next thing that we have to do next 
uh, now is to find the upper bound and lower bound of each of the following information. So we have the length, the width, and the height. So we just need to write the upper bound. And let's just write the lower bound over here. So the upper bound here, let's just start with the length. So the length is 13.2 centimeter correct to the nearest millimeter. So it was corrected over here. So all you have to do, so for those who don't know how to do upper bound and lower bound, since we are, I mean, the, the measurement was corrected here, all you have to do is to add zero here. So add five on top over here and minus five over here. So what do I mean by that? So here just put point zero 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 in order for us to get the upper bound and lower bound. So we have 13.20 on uh, our uh, estimated value. Next, we just have to add plus 0 0.05 to get our upper bound, which would be 13.25. And then our lower bound would just be minus it, which would be 13.15. So 13 point. For those who doesn't know, uh, this is how I do it. But if you have some other way, so maybe you try them. And for those who know, you can skip this part and move on here. So I will just write now the upper bound and lower bound that I found. So 13.25 upper bound, 13.15 lower bound. Next, for the width, it's pretty much the same thing. So nearest millimeter. So nearest millimeter over here would be still here because this is centimeter. So when you say millimeter, you have to multiply by 10, so it would be 160. So we're going to round here. So that would be 16.05 and then 15.05. 95. Next, for the height, you will do the same thing as earlier, so 21.65. So we are now set with the, uh, the dimensions. Now let's go for the measurement of the mass. So the mass is 1970, and it was corrected to the nearest 5 grams. When you say corrected to the nearest 5 grams, so the next number in here would be 1975. And then the previous one would be 1965. But then, since it was rounded to this, the upper bound would be in the middle here. And what would be the middle? So that would, that would be 1972.5. And then he, the middle here would be 1967.5. So this would be your upper bound and lower bound for the mass. Now, we just have to find out the uh, upper bound density and the lower bound density. So let's, sorry, I don't have much space. So I'll do here the upper bound of the density. For the upper bound of the density, so the mass upper bound, so the mass would be upper bound here. Sorry, here. Sorry, I switch these guys. Here, this would be your upper bound, that would be your lower bound. So the upper bound would be 1972.5 divided by the volume. So the volume, we need the lower bound. So we're gonna multiply all the lower bound here because the volume is length times width times height. So 13.15 times 15.95 times 21.65. So if you want, you can do it on the side. So maybe you get one more mark for that. But for now, I'll just write everything. Then 13.15 times 15.95 times 21.65. And I got an answer. So the upper bound density would be 0 0.434 and 3828. So I will try to write as much as I could. 0 0.343828. Probably this would be enough. So I'm going to do now the lower bound. So in order for me to get the lower bound, I just have to get the uh, mass in lower bound. So the lower bound of the mass is 1967.5 divided by all the upper bounds, which is 13.25, 16.05, sorry, you did not see that, and then 21.75. So just again, calculator. So 19.6.
which give me an answer of this. So I'll just have to write it here. So 0 0.4 two five three six seven seven blah 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 now since we need to find the answer in the uh, in suitable degree of accuracy you can just write the answer side by side so lower bound 0 0.425677 next as you can see over here the first numbers are the same so we're gonna choose that Next, the second number are not the same, but we can round this into, if I round the upper bound, that will just be 0 0.43. If I round here, that would also give me 0 0.43. So it means this would be our density in grams per centimeter cube in the most, uh, in a suitable degree of accuracy. And that would be our answer.